about the morning. It's Linda Richmond and Coffee Talk. No, this is. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. Waking up my baby. The pieces are playing. It is about to be a brand new year. Yes. Reese is making grilled cheese with French and Do we have we have a George Foreman grill and they make they love grilled cheese and they use a George Foreman grill to make grilled cheese. So I mean it works. Um anyways with it about to be a <coughs> new year, just wanted to I mean, even if it wasn't going to be a new year, you know, I am on the say how it's on my mind. And I got some coffee here. Put some whipped cream in it. Good. It's, it's right on time. Um, <clears throat> so, I just feel like I have to say this, I want to say this this year before the new year comes in. Okay, so I live in Buffalo, New York, and we have a lot of bums. I mean, I'm sure every city has a lot of bums. Maybe some cities have even more bums, but considering the amount of people we have in our city, because all you see downtown Maybe I'm just going to the wrong places or it's just <clears throat> where I have to go. Because I'm not saying, like, I'm not trying to make, put myself on some pedestal. Because I don't have a car, and now especially I have a baby. If you, okay, a lot of people will go to the library. Like, yeah, it's, it's a nice library. It's kind of fancy. But people you know, we'll go there because they can go in from being outside and anyways, um, I go there, I go to the library, there's the studios there, I can make music and then like I said, the Greyhound is right down the street where you can catch the bus and everything. Anyways, the only reason I'm really speaking on this is because Okay, stop crinkling that shit, please. It's annoying. It's really fucking, like, irritating my brain right now. What did I just say? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Like, anyways, that's why I like to do this, like, children don't, you're probably wondering what I'm getting at. I already, I get that. Anyways. This is for the people to just take in and anybody who takes everything I'm saying, take it in and whatever, but. So. You need to be doing more of your, okay, just do your own thing. Don't, just uh, focus on you and your, your grilled cheese making. Anyways, um, yeah, that's why this is well appreciated for my mind right now. Um, anyways, so what I'm trying to get at is, like, I had a conversation with this lady yesterday. I had to ask her. She was a little older. I'm like, were there so many bums when back in your day? And she said, like, they there was, but... It, it is more now. Like, there was always, like, cheating men and stuff, basically, which I could see that. But, yeah, it is kind of worse now with the bumps, but... Anyways, it's funny I said that, and then, and also, yesterday was what I was talking about, somebody just telling her some negative information that's supposed to be about her. Not yesterday, the day before, because then there I was in somebody's life saying somebody said something about me, and I'm just like, 
I'm just thinking like, wow, that's funny. Seems like that just happened to her. Anyways, like, yeah. If you try to tell me something, but then if I'm like, ask you a question, you have no information. Oh, this person said this or that, but then you don't have any information. It just sounds like, you know, they say like, don't kill the messenger. Well, why even? It just doesn't make sense. Like, you're going to protect somebody that's going to bring some kind of negativity towards me. Anyways, you just look stupid when you just bring nothing but garbage out into the world. That's all I'm saying. It's about, yes, it's about to be a new year, but it wouldn't matter. Either way, I'm just going to keep moving every day and do, do more and have a good life and stuff. But, so yeah, as somebody, you, you know, like, you don't have to, like, don't allow that kind of bullshit in your life. Like, now when I see you, like, I'm gonna let you know, like, get the fuck on, don't, don't touch me, don't put your hand on my shoulder, like, don't bring that bullshit to me, period. Like, if you're gonna tell me something, warn me about somebody, it's one thing, but... You're just telling me something and then you don't have anything to back it up. It doesn't even make any sense. It just sounds like you're trying to dog me, but you need to worry about yourself because you bum me as hell up in the Greyhound and shit. I'm in there because of my baby. I'm not here to judge anybody and everybody about what they're going through. But don't bring, don't bring no shit to me and act like you're better than me, but you and the fucking Greyhound probably... Just wait, you know, in between drinks and smokes and whatever. Like, back when I used to actually, I never really was a, a big time drinker or nothing. Like, it was more like a social gathering type of thing. And I would want to be having fun. I wouldn't want to be out on the street just guzzling it up. Like, I'm not saying you can't drink at all and go out, but what the hell is you going to do that shit every day? And when I smoked weed, it was, it was still, like I said, it was, you didn't want to have fun, like, just sitting around looking stupid. Like, it always, it used to bother me back in the day when I smoked weed. I would want to do something, like, you know, like, oh, okay, this is, like, help bring the art out of you or whatever, whatever the case, which I know now you don't really need that. Getting, like, doing all of that is not really necessary, like, living a good life and doing things and progressing and make you feel good about yourself, and that should be, like, the ultimate high. Like, seriously, I just feel like I needed to say that. Like, I have a newborn baby, okay? <laughs> She's five weeks old, and she made her first song the other day, because I put her on the microphone. <clears throat> I was only in the studio for, like, less than a half an hour. I made a quick little beat, put the baby on there. I was like, put the baby on the microphone. She's like, ah! <laughs> so, <clears throat> eventually, we'll have to record or make a video for that. I do want to, like, go more in-depth with the song, like... I made the beat, uh, like, I turned the beat up, so I wanted to make sure it was bumping and stuff. But you can still hear her good, but I still would like to kind of make her a little bit louder overall. But I still can make a video with the song in front of her, because she's so sweet. And like I said, it's her first song. You know, like, who can say they made a song at five weeks old? Like, I don't know. Anyway, what were you doing, Kidum? Kidum just jumped in her, like, she has a cardboard box to get to go. <sighs> Anyways, it's just, <clears throat> don't let nobody's negativity stop you from enjoying your life. There, a lot of people will try to control you. People you don't even know, and you don't even realize what they're doing, <clears throat> but... 
just talking shit about people calling on people. You might be trying to control somebody's shit doing that, but you look fucking stupid as hell doing all that. It makes you look like you have nothing going for yourself, which apparently you don't. Like I said, you say something to me, oh, so-and-so said this or that. Okay, and who? Who is this person? But you're going to protect them. You know, it's, it's just, it doesn't matter what you say, when you say it, how you say it, whatever. You look dumb. You're worrying about me and my life. You're making shit up. But, anyways, what do you have to offer the world? You want to hide behind somewhere and just do this. But, anyways... The ultimate reward here is doing well. If you're mad and jealous about somebody doing well, it's one thing, you know, we all have hard times that we fall on sometimes. And I'm not clowning on anybody, and I'm not, it's not like I'm not acknowledging that. But if you keep ignoring the signs, things are getting worse and worse and worse. You cannot, like, fall into that depression and then later on be like, oh, I should have done something. Like, it's not going to work out good for you. But if you've already fallen, then that should be your sign. That should be the big-ass wake-up call to get your shit together, keep fighting, and get it, get the help you need, whatever that is. Help people in any way you can. If you guys live in people's houses, you better fucking clean the fuck out of their house. Help them with their kids. Do stuff that they don't want to do. Like scrub a toilet or whatever. Offer them, give them food. If you have food stamps or whatever you have, you have to help people. But yes, you do have to make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you have the things for yourself. You have to always find that middle ground, but if you need to get your shit together, then that's what you need to be focusing on. Not me, what I'm doing, what I'm not even doing up to bother you, but because I exist, because I go in the greyhound, because my I'm not going to be outside all, like, if I don't want to be outside and wait for a bus. What y'all going to do when I'm driving again? What y'all going to do... When, I mean, I'm already doing big things, but what's I going to do when it's even more and more known? Or are you mad because I'm getting, I'm slowly getting there? I mean, I've been making music for years, but it is like coming together. But I've been doing things the right way. Like, I try to help. I want to help. If you have suggestions, you have questions. And you need some help on some shit? You want me to talk talk about certain subjects? I can do that. I've been through enough shit, and believe me, if I don't know the answers, I can try. I can find the answers for you. I'll find the people that can help you or whatever. That's what I'm about. I would like to help women who've been through domestic violence. There's a bunch of shit that I'm trying to work for, like towards in the future. But you can't do everything all at once. And right now I do have a newborn. And, you know, like I said, I'm still trying to get my shit right. It's not like, I mean, I have my, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to build. I have a solid foundation. But I still want more. And I want to have a fucking car again. And, you know, I got all these kids. And we need, it just would be better. You know, you want to live good. I'm not just trying to, like, live all fat and comfortable. Like, we're comfortable already, but I'm not trying to have, like, some kind of lazy-ass life. It's, you never really want that, and that's what people, bummy-ass people, no matter if you ha- what you have or don't have, you have to be a little... It's, believe me, there's a time and place to be 
to just have rest and be a little lazy here and there or whatever, but every day shouldn't, you should be doing things and making moves every day. The weekend, I know, yeah, that's kind of, even on the weekends, I'm, I had to take a big trip yesterday with the baby, you know, it was important, but um, what, only since then somebody's going to try to be sneaky and say some old bullshit to and protect somebody, like, what the hell is that? You know how stupid you make yourself look? And I remember... Sometimes people just really got some issues, and I don't have time. If you want help, if you... Whatever. I'm not catering to your bullshit. I'm not here to be your doormat. None of that. I can help you, but I'm not... You're not walking all over me. And you're not walking over my friends, my family, people that I give a fuck about. Like, nah. So anyway, with that all being said... You know, moving forward, like I said, it wouldn't matter if it was the New Year's. I still have to say all this anyways, but with that New Year's, I'm just, you know, it's even more so, like, let's keep it moving. Remember, you're not a doormat. You have to find that middle ground. We all gotta treat each other right. The people... People want to argue with you and complain, and they don't have nothing to complain about. Nah, that shit is... That's, that's not cool. <laughs> like, like, and then that gossipy shit, like, oh, okay, you want to tell me something, then actually tell me who said what and why and all this. Like, you're just making up some shit, you look dumb. You look like, like you have nothing going on. You look pathetic. I see, you see, I didn't even address what she said. That's how fucking small-minded and dumb you are. I don't have to do that because I don't have to make myself look less than when I'm not. And it's laughable. Yeah, anyways, it's the way the world is nowadays. It's so easy to track things and to see if somebody is falling off and not taking care of their business. I take care of my business. That's it. Enough said right there. Like I said, it's so easy. The world we live in now, it's easy to track murderers and people actually doing crime. So you cannot live in a lazy world. Like, you can't be part of that lazy world and not take care of your business. Especially if you have kids. You better get off your ass or you're going to not have shit. And I'm not promoting people doing fucked up shit and taking people's kids and all that shit. But you have to take care of your shit. You can't just, like, not. <laughs> you have, like, even if you're embarrassed and you have to ask somebody. I'm just saying, and that's not me. Like, if I needed something, I wouldn't be embarrassed. But I'm definitely not out here begging and asking anybody for shit. I don't, that's not me. It never was. But I'm just saying, if you had to do that for your kids, then you better do that, I guess. I'm just saying. But there's enough help everywhere. There's so much help that these bums, like, feel like they can be all nasty. Because there's people their charities and they're like oh here's this here's that you know enjoy and then they're like oh you don't have an orange or you don't have a banana like they have an attitude if you don't have what they want that's how much help there is that they get all nasty not saying everybody but i've seen it and that's all i'm saying like but i've always been appreciative to whatever i get but i'm not Let's just say I'm I'm comfortable enough because I take care of my shit. But I know if I need something, I'm going to reach out. I'm still not rich, so I'm in that bracket where it's like, yeah, sure, I'll take some charity. But I'm not dying over here. I don't need to rely on somebody's fucking charity for dinner. So I'm sorry that if that's you. 
get your shit together. Anyways, enough said, alright? If you hate me, it's because you don't want to listen, you don't want to accept what I'm saying. I'm not here dogging anybody for having less. Keep working hard. I'm not fucking rich. I'm working on that, so or am I not? I'm, I'm working on things. I want to have more. I'm comfortable enough. My kids are fed. They're comfortable. They know they have to do what they have to do. It's just like me. But yeah, kids in the fucking video games, like a lot of the world. It could be anything. It could be video games. It could be anything. You have to stay focused. Yeah, kids is like the video games with fucking Roblox and shit. A lot of adults are on pills and whatever, drugs and alcohol. Get it together, people. You should want to, like, make that high, turn that high into having a good life and having what you want. See, that you don't hate on me for having just a little bit because I'm not on drugs and alcohol. I had my baby... He's five weeks old. I haven't had a drink yet. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke cigarettes. No, am I, am I being an asshole? You might think that, but honestly, I'm just t showing you that it is possible to be where I'm at. I'm 39 years old. You can think I'm old and whatever. I don't fucking care. I, like I said, I'm comfortable enough, but I want more for my kids. I want to be able to drive them where they need to go let them either play sports or gymnastics or dance or whatever and I can take them to places or if I could pick them up from school not taking a fucking bus I have a baby do you think I want to be taking a bus everywhere but at the same time right now I have to make everything work so as everything is changing like I said with the baby now we've been on the bus a couple times to go to appointments before that we would just took a ride but do I want to deal with people's shitty attitude for a ride? No, if everything is cool, then everything is cool. I'm still adjusting to having to, every time when I leave out with the baby, got to have everything ready to go. And anyways, it is what it is. That's how life is full of changes. And that's just how it is. But you want to keep going. <laughs> you want to keep doing all this stuff. Just like I know I'm not trying to fall off and not making videos. I'm going to try to keep stepping it up all through the new year. As you know, you have to just stay as organized as you can. It makes things easier. The more you have everything, like all the ducks in a row type of shit. You have to be a well-oiled machine. These are words and phrases I'm using to create organization and help with that. I am not perfect. I've had to make my own way with this shit. And that's what you have to do is find a system that works for you. And that's it. Like It'll all work out. Yes, I'm drinking coffee in the tech cup thing. Hey! <laughs> I'll let y'all see my cute baby for <laughs> Come here, you. It is so cute. You're smiling at me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're cute too, Felicia. And yes, I know you love your sister. Oh, <laughs> she's like, please, no sister. <laughs> No, you're okay. You know, the light is a little bit bright. See the little leg. <laughs> you're my cuddle butt. You're my cuddle butt. Yeah, you're so cute. I figured everybody missed you. Or you had to come and say hi. There's your baby foot. Look at the little foot. I love her little baby feet. She makes everything so much better. It makes me happy because my little cuddle butt. My sweet baby. Yeah, the 
look at this. Yeah, she is getting. If if you haven't seen her in a little while, she's filling out nicely. She's eating good. See that, like you said, those cheeks. Yes, you're you're getting bigger. <laughs> she has a home visiting nurse, so I'll let you know what. She's still at like five pounds right now, but I know she's going to be bigger than that by this week, I'll let you know. And then she's going to do OT and PT, occupational therapy and physical therapy. That's like, okay, it's like moving around and kind of like testing her and make sure, like Jayla had to do with that. Jayla was little, I don't even know if you guys That's did, I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think if, I think you guys may, might have done that, but I know Jayla did that in the daycare. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That's, I don't know. <laughs> like, see, even though you were, you and Javari were preemie, you guys, like, got big fast. Oh my God. Look at your baby. Look at your baby. Baby hair. Baby hair. Hi. Swimming is winning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby hair. Aww. <laughs> this baby's been eating so much. He's been eating a lot. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing very well. So we are living life. <laughs> but like I said, she made a song. I know what I mean. Oh, oh, okay. We well, make sure that they can see it. Okay. It's like too dark on the screen. She made the bagel in, in the uh, George Foreman dress. One bite. Pretty good. Um, do you want to? Yeah, I'll just take one. <laughs> okay. Mal has eaten his now. Now Mal is trying to stop whining about bagel, bagel. I want bagel. <laughs> oh, your head. I just always do that. Like, like I'll like lay like this or whatever. Oh, like yeah. Yeah, that's how you're doing it. But all babies do that. You put them in a stroller, and then the next thing, and this is like bigger babies, not like little babies. Like all kids, you put them in a stroller, and then they be like, so how do you sideways? I thought there was only one. There was two. Did you make jail one? Yeah. Then you got yourself one, right? That's yours. And then there's another one. Okay, well, you can have you and Malachi can have the last one. That's fine with me. <laughs> I want more bagel. I know, I just said that you and Julissa can share the last one. Look at your baby foot. <laughs> She's a sweet girl. She's so sweet. Look at her foot. Anyway, enjoy your life and live right and handle your business, though. If you handle your business, 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 however many phrases, just do it so that you can live good and then you don't got to be jealous of me and my baby because, yeah, I, I get that. There's a lot of disrespectful men out there and then you wonder why you don't have a good woman taking care of you. No, we don't mind taking care of good men. We're not here to take care of grown-ass men that don't know how to act right don't have nothing to offer nobody we love to take care of grown-ass men that that are good for our kids good family life just good to us period we don't want to take care of like just stupid men like no so just let's let's let that marinate in there okay people don't hate on me and my baby. You look stupid if you do.
<laughs> yeah, see, she says yes. That's, that's very true, Mom. Let him know. Let him know. <laughs> Anyways, happy New Year, everybody. I will be back. Me and Julie, Julie, <laughs> we are gonna. Me and the twins are gonna do like. We're gonna play with the Barbie doll, and we got some like crazy little ghetto names and stuff for all the Barbie dolls. It's gonna be fun. So check us out today. <laughs> That's a, it'll be alright. I'll take it. It's fine. I'm going to clean it up first. Okay. Alright, so thank you and uh, Happy New Year's and um, enjoy all the videos today because they're probably going to be sporadically different. All different kinds of videos today. You know, you got you got these kind of videos. Um, me and the girls being silly. We might do some freestyle videos because we've done that in the past. Me and the kids will do some freestyling and stuff. Um, like I said, the Barbies or whatever. Um, music videos besides like the freestyle itself. And um, anyways, check us out. See you throughout the day.